Alright, welcome back boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how I create simple shopping bags in Blender. Alright, so first things first, I go about adding the cube. Alright, then I scale the cube to just how I want it. That's changing each diameter. Now, just to make sure that the object has good orientation, I change the pivot point to 3D cursor. And right, then I add a loop cup by the side and you can see that this adds that paper bag feel but the bottom is having some problems all right so the next thing uh, I would do is I add another loop cut down at the bottom to have this effect that you see when you have uh, a typical shopping bag all right then I'm going to scale the front in scale the top part in some so we have like an angled feel okay so that's basically it for the bag just refine it till you get what you're looking for i would advise to use reference even if i didn't just to have a basic idea of what it will look like now i go about trying to add the handle with different types of curves um i played around with these settings a lot to find a particular handle that is easily customizable But at the end of the day, I still went ahead and added a mesh, which was a circle, and I just used that instead, and later on converted that into a curve object. So just play around with the position of the circle and just try to get it to the places you want. Now, I'm, to make the object snap to the face, I use the snapping option and use the face select. The, I selected the face option. All right, so snapping and snap it to the face. I'll go ahead and change this to uh, a curve by going under the object or is it mesh properties and just changing that to convert to convert it to a curve then increase the bevel amount then I'll go ahead and pull this back some so we can have a sort of <clears throat> like it was clipped to the mesh so I deselect some and basically make this as little as possible so that I can then assign them to a particular hook, which is an empty object I created. All right, so now this hook controls the entire handle. So this hook controls the entire handle now, which is amazing because now if you want to animate this with a, a character, you can just control the handle and move the whole thing around. Right, you can then parent the bag, parent the handle to the bag. Yeah and play around with it all right this has been fun guys if you guys want to see walkthroughs like this uh where i make something and i go about how i made it with uh commentary just let me know in the description below do well to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and until next week guys thanks for watching